If you're a coffee fan, you've heard all about cold brew coffee. All right, maybe you don't know the difference between regular coffee and cold brew, or maybe you're actually irritated that this newfangled style of coffee is coming in and ruining your traditional cup of coffee. Well, in this video, I wanna explain the benefits of cold brew coffee over traditional coffee. But before I do that, I have to explain how exactly cold brew coffee is made over traditional coffee. See, it's actually pretty simple. You see, to make traditional coffee, you're basically forcing hot water through the coffee grounds at a relatively high speed. That's brewing a cup of coffee because the heat is extracting some of the flavors and the oils into the coffee. Now with cold brew, it's actually quite simple. You're basically taking cold water and you're allowing coffee grounds to sit in cold water for 12 to 24 hours. So you're still extracting the coffee flavor and the caffeine, but without the oils. You see, the oils are what cause the acidity. It actually causes that bitterness as well. In fact, cold brew coffee is 67% less acidic than traditional coffee. You're still getting all the benefits of regular coffee. You're still getting the caffeine, you're still getting the flavor, and in fact, the oils that ordinarily make it super bitter or make it super acidic would normally affect your tongue to the point where you actually wouldn't be able to taste the fruitiness or the earthiness of a coffee in general. So that is why cold brew tastes so much smoother. You're actually tasting more of the coffee. You're actually tasting more of the flavor. You can actually taste the difference between different beans and different roasts much more than you would if it was traditionally brewed coffee. But how does this affect your health? And we have to look at acidity levels when we talk about our health. Now, obviously there's a lot of stuff out there that says we should have our bodies in a more alkaline state. I'm not gonna comment on that because the science and the research is still up in the air. But the fact of the matter is, is that a more acidic state in the body is definitely better for precancer cells. It's definitely better for disease. Now, the question is whether or not we can actually change our blood pH or not. But again, we're not gonna go down that road. Let's talk about the immediate effect of acidity on the gut biome, and let's talk about acidity on the teeth. One thing that is proven is that high acid foods do break through the tooth enamel and actually cause some decay. Now, when you take a cold brew coffee that's 67% less acidic, Obviously, you have less impact on your teeth. It's not gonna stain your teeth as much. It's not gonna cause decay as much. But let's talk about the gut biome. A highly acidic environment in the gut can allow certain bacteria to flourish. Certain bacteria that we may not want to flourish. It's gonna cause a skewed gut biome. So when we can balance that out, we can bring our exogenous sources of acid down just a little bit, unless we're causing a negative feedback loop. That's a story for a different day. Then we can actually help our gut biome to be in a better position. And also a lower acid level is also going to help ulcers and it's also gonna help some causes of stomach upset. So the science is pretty simple. Less acid coming into the system can make things a lot easier when it comes to trying to create a bit more of an alkaline state. Last but not least, when coffee is heated, a lot of times it breaks down the antioxidant benefits of coffee in the first place. A lot of the new research, and mind you, it's very embryonic and new, is showing that cold brew coffee might have higher levels of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties than traditionally brewed coffee, simply because the heating process isn't killing off those antioxidants. But here's the thing, you don't need to go to a trendy coffee shop, you don't even need to go to Starbucks. In fact, cold brew coffee in a lot of ways is easier to make than traditional coffee. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take one cup of coarsely ground coffee, whatever your favorite flavor is, decaf or not, and you're gonna take four parts of water for that. So you're gonna take four cups of water for one cup of coarsely ground coffee. You're gonna place that in a large mason jar, go ahead and add the cold water in, seal it on up, and you're gonna let it sit for 12 hours. And you're gonna make a concerted effort to go in and shake it every three or four hours, just make sure some of the things aren't settling too much. Then you're gonna run it through a filter, and you're done. You've got cold brew coffee. In another video, I can talk about different ways that you can infuse that coffee to get more flavors, and to get more power out of it, possibly even some mushroom extract that can help your nerve growth factor and help you get a little bit more out of your brain as well. As always, keep it locked in here on my videos to learn more about how to manipulate your food to be the best possible version of yourself. I'll see you soon.